YSK how to use a drive through Most drive throughs will have a sensor that lets the person wearing a headset know when a car pulls up, usually with a sound. Some places like McDonald's also have cameras pointing at their speakers. But not all have them nor do they all use them for looking for cars at the order box be ready. When you pull up, have your window rolled down and your music down, etc. We can hear you as long as you're at the speaker box and the sensor is triggered. Keep that in mind for your conversations or music. We can also hear very squeaky brakes and whatnot. If no one greets you within like 20 seconds, try saying excuse me since sometimes the sensors won't register a car and we can't hear you in that case. Drive up to the window and explain that no one helped you yet. Most times, the workers there know the menu and will try to make things cheaper for you. Don't be afraid to ask them questions. Especially if there's any deals they know they can give you heck. If you're nice enough sometimes you can get free drinks or items. Let them know ahead of time if you'll have two orders, first thing you should say. Please don't drive away until they're done speaking to you. We don't like it either but we have to follow key points. So we have to ask you those questions. Most won't care but it is kinda rude to just say hey can I get X. Thanks then you drive away without us even confirming your order. YYSK not everyone has worked fast food or a drive through and knows how they work. Plus there's some tips to get the most out of your money. TLDR we can basically hear everything when you're at the speaker box and the sensor detects your car. Ask questions about the menu and trust when workers try to make things cheaper for you. Most of the time we don't get paid enough and don't care about them making as much profit as possible if you're nice enough you might even get free stuff. Basically just treat them like people. We have to follow dumb rules sometimes but we don't make them. Just get paid to follow them. Please turn off your windshield wipers when you're at the window too. Adding to this if you drive a diesel powered vehicle please shut it off when you order. We can't hear jack over that engine. And give us a heads up when you restart it too. For the love of all things holy. Don't be that goddamn asshole who refuses to pull ahead when asked because of some childhood rage. Issues that are unresolved. You're not fucking over the Arby's. Dude. You're fucking everyone behind you. I don't know if this is everywhere but on our speaker you couldn't tell if they were saying fries. Or Sprite. So to clarify we'd say I'm sorry. It's something's hard to understand with this speaker. Are you ordering french fries or the drink Sprite? Nine times out of ten they just yell the one word back into the speaker with no clarification loudly crying. Please drive around I'll ask you again when you get to the window and thanks for yelling face with rolling eyes. As a past drive through worker. Almost never talk first workers almost always know you're there and are busy. Only in very fringe cases do the sensors not pick you up. I was horrified when I whispered to my so in the driver's seat of something had tomatoes and the guy on the other end said not if you don't want it to and added no tomato to my order. It was that day that I learned you don't have to yell at the speaker. My parents always yelled the order. Also if you and all your friends are wanting to pay separately just cash app each other. It will make it less complicated for everyone. YSK how to use a drive through Inhales excessively through nose can I get a vanilla M-I-L-K-S-H-A-Y-Y-K-E and some 30 piece S-H-I-C-C-A-N-O-G-G-E-T-S. P-L-E-E-Z. And please turn off your loud ass truck engine if you have one. It can make hearing you over the headset very difficult and can become frustrating for both the customer and employee. Wait how do I get free stuff? Thank you for all you do food service is so stressful. Underpaid. And underappreciated. And I bet customers are even ruder in the drive through than in the store.
It blows my mind that people can be so rude to people who are serving you food. Like, it's food. Food is the best thing in life. Be grateful. Also YSK if you say hello five times impatiently literally as soon as you get to the speaker. Just know I am now ignoring you and making you wait longer when before I was just finishing IDK. Pouring a drink for example and then getting to you. I know this is petty and rude but this was my biggest pet peeve working drive through Otherwise. Expect great service. Person pulls up to the drive through speaker in 2023. Proceeds to scream hello at the top of their lungs. I went through a Taco Bell drive through on my bike one summer because it was really hot outside and I wanted some water. But it was like middle of the pandemic so I couldn't go inside. I felt so goddamn awkward pulling up to the window just to be like hey um I was just wondering if I could get some water and there were like full ass minivans in line after me lmao. With me. If you move your car the slightest amount whilst giving your order. You trip the sensor again. Which will automatically turn the employee's headset off as it assumes they have driven round to the window. Just gets annoying when you have to turn it back on and ask them to repeat what they said. As a person who likes to script what they want before they even get there. I wish they would have the menu board before you get to the speaker and not at the speaker itself. This. Sub. You should know how to use this sub son. What should deaf people know? I have seen a few videos of deaf customers being denied drive through service just because the staff. Refuse to read or accommodate deaf customers. Can I add to this 3-4 feet distance between cars? A whole car shouldn't be able to fit in between you and the car in front of you. And if there are two lanes that merge into one. Alternate. Fuck drive throughs They are so terrible for environment. How do I use the drive through Ordering through the app. I get a bit of anxiety ordering at the speaker. Am I taking too long? Crap the menu screen just changed. What was that thing I wanted? Am I taking too long? Shoot. There's someone behind me. I bet they think I'm taking too long. What did you want again? Honey? Crap. I forgot what she wanted. I'm taking too long. Using the app? I have ordered GF42. Done. Emphasis on get your brakes fixed before rolling through the line for the 30th time in 6 days. If you have money for fast food that often you have money to get your damn brakes fixed. Also we are time so please know what you want. I am not saying no the whole menu just know what you like and go from there with the help of the worker or go inside where we are not be timed. It would be nice for the drive through to tell us the amount our bill is. I keep coins in my car due to the pandemic and prefer to use them. A lot of folks just say please pull to window 2. Isn't this common sense? Or is this like American things? Conversely, the people working at the restaurant should know how to put a drive through order together correctly. It's not hard. Scraping the bottom of the barrel for YSK content, AOP? Wow thanks, I've never used a drive through before. You are delusional. Everyone knows how they work. It's just that nobody cares to follow etiquette at a drive through Haha <laughs> I usually pull up and be like you're but in the happiest mood ever tears of joy. I hate it when they say please go to the first window and you just sit there at the first window. Being ignored only to be told you need to go to the second one. Also. Please don't be the customer who talks over the employee when they try to ask you a question. Sometimes we have to ask you what kind of sauce drink cheese you want and you talking over us too. Say the next meal you want just makes everything take longer.